in my new session. In this session, we are going to study the few applications of the last session that we have read. I think you got the introduction of the chapter on quadratic progression in which that all basic knowledge we have discussed. Today we are going to discuss the exercise 5.1, which is totally based on patterns. So, dear students, I hope you all are good at your home. Stay home and stay safe. Right? Here, in the first question, it is given. In which of the following situations does the list of numbers involved make an arithmetic progression and why? The reason is also asked. Okay. For this, the first question, first part it is the taxi fare after each kilometer when the fare is rupees 15 for the first kilometer and rupees 8 for each additional kilometer. If someone is travelling 1 kilometer, so he has to pay rupees 8. Right? If together he is travelling rupees 2 kilometers, so for the second kilometer additional he has to pay rupees 8 in the 15. Right children? So, for the first kilometer he has to pay rupees 15, for second kilometer he has to pay 15 plus 8 that is 23 for 3 km he has to pay rupees 23 plus 8 that is equals to 21 and for 4 km if he is travelling so rupees 31 plus 8 that is 39 so our series becomes 15, 23, 31 and 39 so these are our series came so let us check is this series following the arithmetic progression or so, to decide this is arithmetic progression, we have to find its common difference. And the common difference of second term minus first term, it should be equals to third term minus second term, it should be equals to fourth term minus third term, etc. So, 23 minus 15, which is 8, then 31 minus 33, which is 8. It means the common difference is always plus 8 is coming. Therefore, if this sequence is an arithmetic progression. Right, children? Okay, students, in the second part it is given the amount of air present in the cylinder when a vacuum pump removes one fourth of the air remaining in the cylinder at a time. Right? So, in this, you understand this concept that it is a arithmetic progression or not. So, we have, suppose that, let us the volume of air present in the cylinder be x unit. This is the volume of cylinder. Okay? So, as first term is x unit we have taken, x unit we have taken, after that the second will be, second the amount of volume of air present in the cylinder will be this x minus one fourth of x that is equal to three fourth of x unit. So, third, in third case, third, third chance, this three by fourth x minus one fourth of three by four. That is equals to 3 by 4x and 3 by 4 for the 16x equals to 9 upon 16x unit at third chance. Similarly, at the fourth time, the volume of air present in the cylinder will be 27 upon 64x. So, the list of number k, this x unit, second 3 by 4x unit, third 9 by 16x unit and fourth 27 by 64 x unit etc etc. So, we have to recognize that it is a arithmetic progression or not. So, here when we calculate this a2 minus a1 and a3 minus a2 are a4 minus a3, so they are not equal it is coming. If they are not equal, so it is clear that this list of numbers are not arithmetic progression. Right? So, the children there are four parts in this first question. First and second, I have given the solution. You have to try to solve the part number third and fourth. If there, if you are facing any difficulty, so let me know that I'll give you the solution of those questions also. Right? Okay, dear friends. In the second question of this exercise, it is given write the first four terms of the AP when the first term is 
A and the common difference D are given as the formulas. In this, the first part we are seeing here in the solution. The first term is given and the common difference is given. As you know that, what as you know that your series, your arithmetic progression are in this form. Our APs are put, which is first term is A, second term is A plus D, third term is A plus 2D, fourth term is A plus 3D, etc. etc. This much terms we have to find out as it is given. Find first four term. So the first term is A, which is A. Second term is Second term is A plus D. This is first term, this is second term, this is third term. So third term is A plus 2D. So first term is A and the value of A is given 10. Right? Second term is A plus B and the value of A is 10 plus D is also 10 which is equals to 20. Third term is A plus 2D that is 10 plus 2 multiplied by d is 10, 10 plus 20 which is equal to 30. First term is 10, second term is 20, third term is 30. So the fourth term of this series will be a plus 3d as this we, we have. So this becomes a is 10 plus 3 into d is 10 means 10 plus 3 tens of 30 which becomes 40. Therefore, our APs are 10, 20, 30, 40, etc, etc. These are our AP K and the first four term we have written here. Right children? So you have to keep it in mind. This is our general form of any arithmetic progression. With the help of this, you can find any of the term, not only first four, last four, or fifth term, or sixth term. The same concept you have to use, any of the arithmetic progression you can solve it. Right? Hence, in the second part it is given, the first term is minus 2, and the common difference is 0. So, let us find out the first four term of this arithmetic progression. So, for the first term, as you know, first term is A which is equal to minus A. So we got the first term. Second term is, this is first term. Second term, A2 that is equal to A plus D. A plus D, A is equal to minus 2 and D is 0. That is also equal to minus 2. Right? So third term, A3. And A3 is this one, A plus 2D means minus 2 plus 2 into D is 0, that is equals to minus 2 plus 0, which is equals to minus 2. So we got the first term is minus 2, second term is minus 2, third term is also minus 2. Let us find out the fourth term, which is A plus 3D. Fourth term is A plus 3D. Calculate it, A is minus 2 plus 3 into 0 is d is 0. So, we got minus 2 plus 0 which is equal to minus 2. So, our list of numbers are, our APs becomes what? Minus 2, first term, second term is minus 2, third term is also minus 2 and fourth term is also minus 2. Therefore, our series becomes minus 2, minus 2 minus 2, minus 2, etc. These are the first four term of this arithmetic progression. So the children accordingly you can solve the third and fourth part of this question. Right? Okay friends, see the fourth part of this question in which the first term A is given minus 1 and the common difference B is given 1 upon 2. So in this, we have to find out the first fourth term as the first term a1 which is equals to a that is equals to minus 1 is given already right so second term a2 that is equals to 
this was the first term this is the second term that is a plus d so we have to calculate it as the first term a is minus 1 plus common difference is 1 upon 2 when you solve it you will get minus 2 plus 1 upon 2 that is equals to minus 1 upon 2 so second term is r minus 1 upon 2 third term is a plus 2d where minus 1 plus 2 into d is 1 upon 2 so when you simplify you will get minus 1 and plus 1 which is equals to 0 our third term k so fourth term a4 that is equals to a plus 3d which is equals to minus 1 plus 3 multiplied by d is 1 upon 2 so minus 1 plus 3 upon 2 which is equals to minus 2 plus 3 that is 1 upon 2 is the fourth term so our list of number becomes our series becomes minus 1 minus 1 upon 2 0 minus 1 minus 1 upon 2 0 and 1 upon 2 etc these are the first four term R of R arithmetic progression according to the given information right okay friends see the first part of question number three the remaining part of question number two you have to solve it in your notebook with these solutions also so in this question number three is given for the following it means it means this series this list of series is an AP it is an AP for the following APs write the first term and the common difference of this is so as this is the list of arithmetic progression in which the first term is given 3 second term is given 1 third term is given minus 1 fourth term is given minus 3 etc it is given in fourth term it is given as it is infinite arithmetic progression so first term we it is first we have to find out the first term which is even and that is equals to that is equals to 3 so first term we got it now after getting the first term it is asking the common difference also so we have to find out the common difference it was the first term afterwards the common difference d is equals to it is a2 minus a1 formula you know that if you are not using this a2 minus a1 you can use a3 minus a2 if that is also not you can use a3 a4 minus a3 any one of them you can use so a2 minus a1 that is equals to common difference therefore d is equals to a2 is 1 minus a1 is 3 so therefore 1 minus 3 that is equals to minus 2 which is the common difference of this series this is common difference and this was the first term right ok dear friends see the third part of this question in this the first term is given 1 upon 3 second term is given 5 by 3 third term is given 9 by 3 fourth term is given 13 upon 3 so after writing these terms first term is 1 upon 3 second term is 5 upon 3 third term is 9 upon 3 fourth term is 13 upon 3 etc it right, is given so let us write its first term as it is asking and the common difference this is asking ok so the first term a which is equals to a1 that is 1 upon 3 this is our first answer first term 
Now the common difference to find the common difference the value of d which is equals to a2 minus a1. So a2 a2 is 5 upon 3 and a1 is 1 upon 3. Simplify it. You will get denominators are same so you get 4 upon 3. 5 minus 1 is 4 upon 3 which is the common difference of it. Right children? So first term is 1 upon 3 and the common difference is 4 upon 3. Any problem? Okay, students, in the fourth term, fourth part of this question, the first term is given 0 0.6, second term is given 1.7, third term is 2.8 and fourth term is 3.9. So the first term is already we had, it is seen there in the with the series. Now let us find the common difference and the formula here we have taken A3 minus A2. A3 is 2.8, A2 is 1.7. When we subtract this, we will get 1.1, which is the common difference of this arithmetic progression. Right? Okay, dear friends. So the fourth question of this exercise, which is the last one, in this the first question, that's the question is given which of the following are a piece. First, we have to decide the series, the list of the numbers are given, are they a piece or not? This we have to decide. And if they form an AP, if they are a p, then find the common difference D and write three of its more terms. So, this common difference we find karna or is it in all terms decide karna. Clear? So, first of all, let us see the given list of numbers are AP or now. So, in this series, first term is given to, second term is given 4, third term is given 8, fourth term is given 16. Right? As these terms are given, so we have to find its common difference. So it will be clear that if the common difference will come same in every terms cases, so it is it will be decided that it is an AP or not. So as you know that for the common difference, you have the formula A4 minus A3, uh, A3 minus A2, uh, A2 minus even let us find it. A one. So A four, which is sixteen, minus A three is eight, and A three, which is eight, minus A two is four, and A two minus A one, which is four minus two. This sixteen minus eight is eight, and this eight minus four is four. Therefore, they are not equal and let us see that this one and this is coming to, this is also not equal. If they are not, means their common differences are not same. If the common differences are not same, so this is not an arithmetic progression. Therefore, the given list of number is not, it is not an AP, right? Okay friends, in the second part of this question, let us decide, are these list of numbers are in AP? In the first part, as we have decided, they are not in AP. So, if they are not in AP, as the question is asking, if they form an AP, if they form AP, then we have to find other three terms, otherwise they have to find them. So, the first question is what was it? वो सीरीज दैट लिस्ट ऑफ नंबर्स आर नॉट इन एपी तो जब वो एपी नहीं था तो हमें अदर थ्री टर्म्स फाइंड करने की कोई जरूरत नहीं थी सो बट हियर इफ दिस बिकम्स एन एपी तो हमें इसके थ्री टर्म्स भी फाइंड करने होंगे राइट सो लेट अस सी इन दिस लिस्ट ऑफ नंबर एज द फर्स्ट टर्म इज गिवन फर्स्ट टर्म इज गिवन टू सेकंड टर्म इज गिवन 5 अपॉन 2 Third term is given 3 and the fourth term is given 7 upon 2. 
let us check that are these arithmetic progression or not and how to decide to find the value of common difference so as you know that common difference d is equals to a4 minus a3 similarly you can find a3 minus a2 and a2 minus a1 if the values of all these three are same coming then it is said to be this list of numbers are in a let us find it a3 a4 minus a4 is 7 upon 2 minus a3 is 3 the value of this is 1 upon 2 this a3 minus a2 which is 3 minus 5 by 2 the value of this is also equals to 1 upon 2 and this is a2 which is 5 by 2 minus 2 that is also equals to 1 upon 2 or are the four values or these three values are same it means the common difference of this series is same therefore it is n it is an arithmetic progression right if it is arithmetic progressions then find its three more terms as fourth term is given this is so we have to find the fifth term sixth term and seventh term so by the general form of arithmetic progression a5 is equal to a plus 4d as d is decided first term you have so a5 fifth term is that is a the value of a is 2 plus 4 multiplied by common difference is 1 upon 2 so which is 2 to the 4 and you got 2 plus 2 is 4 which is the fifth term of this series right next term we have to find out the sixth term a6 that is equals to a plus 5d a is 2 5 into 1 upon 2 the value of d so 2 plus 5 by 2 which is equals to 9 upon 2 this is the sixth term of this series so seventh term we have to find out a7 which is equals to a plus 6d to find the, this seventh term a7 is equals to a plus 6d that is the value of a is 2 plus 6 into the value of b is 1 upon 2 let us simplify 2 3 is a 6 so 3 plus 2 is equals to 5 so the next three terms is 4 after this 4 next 9 upon 2 and next term is 5 this this and this we got the three more term of this series right children so you can find right now so there are 15 part of this question is given i have given the solution of two questions if any of the part you are supposed to that cannot solve so you have to ask the part number and give you the solution in the next lecture Right?